Hey everybody, it's Cynthia Maynard from CynthiaMaynard.com and I hope you are doing well today. Um, I have, uh, in a recent video, made, actually a couple of recent videos, <laughs> made a balloon card and a matching envelope and I have the matching treat bag here. So I wanted to show this to you. Um, everything in here is stampin' up with the exception of uh, the uh, treat bag itself. I don't have the thinlet um, that makes it. We do sell uh, treat bag dies that are super cool looking and I wanted to get them but I just there have been other things that I have just gotten instead and I will see if I end up getting it. So anyway this is a silhouette file and I have made this slightly bigger so it's about a little bigger than four and a half by three and a half. That's what this piece is, four and a half by three and a half of this pool party. And so this is just slightly bigger than that. And so when you fold it and put the tabs in, you'll have one. Whoops. All right, so all I did was I took some quarter inch, I think that's quarter inch, actually half inch, those are big tabs, uh, half inch uh, tear and tape that, uh, or you could use fast fuse. So you just simply, uh, it's super easy. You just take, <laughs> theoretically, it's super easy. You can get... I don't have any nails. All right. <laughs> so um, what we want to do there is close up our tabs and just press firmly. And you can see the little uh, treat bag there. And you can stuff that with treats and um, tea bags or and little spoons coming out, all sorts of things you could do with this. And um, I'll put a link at the end of this video. You'll be able to just click on the other two videos that will um, coordinate with this because I think that's super fun when you have coordinating treats and things to give people. So if you want to, uh, after we're done making it, you can just kind of squeeze the sides and it'll poof out a little bit. So for my panel that's going to go right on the front here. So I've got some elements. I have my panel. I have an embossed balloon, which um, is from this stamp set. I've used this larger one and then the filler and just embossed it in some gold embossing powder. And I do that on the other video. I also have from the punch, because you get two sizes with this punch, which is really cool. Just have a plain black little guy. Um, this is from the Eastern Palace uh, Suite uh, Designer Series paper. And this is the single-sided foiled three and a half by one and a quarter. So we're going to put that across there. And then I have uh, this, which coordinates with the card that I made in the other video. These are just an embossed cherry cobbler and a slightly bigger black circle. And then I just snip them in half and I use the other on the other card. And then I'm going to use the other here. So first going to do a little stamping um, in the background here. I'm going to do tone on tone for this. So I grab some pool party. All right. And this time I'm going to use this guy here. All right, so we're just basically going to stamp here, there, and everywhere. That's going to go on there like that. Um, first I'm going to adhere down my red cherry cobbler. I want my design of my embossed folder poking up. So uh, I'm going to do that on the other side. And yes, if you're thinking that, it does look like a little mouth with a tongue. <laughs> um, and I'm also going to put our piece of um, which McCall? Can't think of it. Eastern Palace paper there. So pretty. Love these colors together. Okay. I am going to adhere this down. And then we're going to some holes going there for some ribbon. So lining that up the best we can. I'll flip that over. I just find it easier. I don't rub all my snag my embellishments there. Okay. Then we're just going to use a hole punch and we're just going to kind of come through. Um, depending on what kind of treat you're going to put in, you might want to hole punch all the way through all of them and put your ribbon through like we're going to show you in a second, or I'm going to show you, I don't know who the we are, <laughs> we is, <laughs> the stranger next to me. Um, uh, but for this one, I'm going to just do the front so I can put something a little bit bigger in there, a little sack of cookies or, or things like that. So I'm just going to eyeball it. You could measure it if that uh, drives you nuts to eyeball. <laughs> I'm comfortable with it, <laughs> but whatever floats your boat. 
All right. And uh, I just wanted to do that before I got all my embellishments on here. So we're going to go, I'm going to trim this down just a tad. It's a little bit big for my bag, I think. Uh, you could use your paper trimmer for that, but I'm just going to go ahead and snip that off. All right. And you see how easy this is. This isn't meant to be anything huge. And if you don't have Stampin' Up! stuff, this is totally a method. You could totally change this up with other products. No problem. And other colors for that matter. Um, I'm going to kind of mimic what I did on my card. So I'm going to kind of just come in here with snail on my little balloon. And then I'm going to put dimensionals on this, these guys. Kind of like that. And like that. So a fun little cluster of um, elements there. Now I'm not going to put, I have sentiment on my card, so I'm not going to put a sentiment on here. I'm just going to leave it all blingy and the stamped elements and let that do the talking for it. But we are going to grab some ribbon, some soft sky. I know this is pool party, but they're very, very close. Um, so that's the only one that I have because I want to go ahead and I'm going to need a pokey tool or something here. Let's see. There we go. Um, just to kind of get that ribbon through. So you want to go through the back. Uh, if, if you're going to do the two holes in the back here, I'd put your treat in first before you put your ribbon on. And then you want to feed it through the back of here so that you'd see ribbon here going through, if that makes sense. Uh, since I don't have those two holes, I'm going to just go inside here. And then it won't matter when I stuff my treat into my bag. Hopefully that's understandable there. Um, let's see how much I need to cut off here. I don't want to waste any of this gorgeousness. This is so fun to get a treat. It's fun to get a treat, and it's fun to get something that somebody made for you. Change this with the holidays. Totally make this a Christmas bag. We might. Do we do it? All right. And then it's super cute, and you can have, you know, uh, your glass, your plastic peeking out here with your treats. You can little coffees with little stirs, dipped in chocolate, all sorts of things. But I think that's really cute. Go check out the coordinating um, card and envelope videos because I think you'll like the whole set together. I think it'll be super fun, and uh, I'm very excited about it. I really like how they turned out. All right, guys, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. But please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Get up to 2,000 subscribers. We're going to do another giveaway, and I'm already kind of prepping for that so thanks guys so much it's really exciting to uh, create with you all today thanks have a great day